In one of the last videos, we learned how to make a user managed code backup of an archived log mode database, Oracle database. And to understand the concepts in the simplest way, we learned how to backup one data file only, but the same principles can be applied to do a complete backup of an of of a database of an Oracle database. For those who haven't seen the previous video, please watch the video on YouTube or on the website. The next slide describes some of the components of an Oracle database and what we simply did. We copied one data file onto a different location simply with the help of operating systems copy command. And in this video, we'll try to automate the same process with the help of a small script. But this is the simplest script that I could think of. In actual practice, scripts can be very complex. Don't assume that the job is so simple. However, the script that I'm going to show you will serve the purpose. Before we do that, let's have a look at this slide. So there were four stages. You have to decide where to copy backup files. Then you have to determine the name and locations of the database files to copy and you have to find the size of the the files as well so you know that how much disk space you need to copy the backup files. Then you simply shut down the database, copy all the files with the help of operating systems copy command and simply restart the database. This is user managed cold backup of an archived log mode database. We backed up only one data file and that was for understanding concepts. Okay, so this is our uh, command prompt once again, our friend. And what I'll do, I'll use notepad. And I want to use the file name, name of the script file, okay, b.sql. And I'll press enter. And it comes up with this message. Cannot find the b.sql file. Do you want to create a new one? I'll say yes. And uh, notepad is open, okay. So first of all, I'll say host CLS. I want to clear the screen. So I'm running, this script will be running from SQL prompt. So from SQL prompt, it will go to the operating system. It will use the operating system command CLS, which will clear the screen. And I want to record whatever is happening. So I'll say spool. This will create a list file, something like a text file. And I'll say record. This is the name of the file, record of underscore m percent this m percent sign which is a variable and i'll say date so whatever is happening will be recorded under this name record of and whatever the date is and after that i simply want to select this date from dual okay i want to record the name of the database and for that i'll run select name from v dollar data base semicolon i want to check the status of the database select open underscore mode from v dollar data base and i also want to check to see whether the database is running in archive log mode so i'll say select log underscore mode from v v dollar database and i'll say archive log list archive log list and after that i'll shut down immediate remember this is a cold backup user managed cold backup shut down immediate i have to be very careful with the spellings typos I want to display a message. I'll say host echo. So it will go back to operating system and I'll say copying copying only one data file users.dbf in location C colon backslash BK. Host echo once again.
So this is just a message. Copying one data file users tbf and before I display the second message I'll say host copy and I'll say c backslash oracle this is the location of the data file users tbf I'll say app backslash oracle backslash aura data backslash xe and then users dot dbf to where we want to copy it c colon backslash bk this folder has already been created on c drive i want to start up the database once again and i want this pool off so it will finish writing the story onto this pool file i can't think of any mistake that I've, uh, i might have made but we'll try to run this and we'll find out so i'll say save i'll exit and i'll say TBA connected to the database and I'll run the script b.sql.sql you don't have to write .sql you can simply say at b and it will run the script and let's see if I have made any typos enter value for date so I'll say 2nd of January 2012 and it is running these statements name of the database is xe open mode is read and write so the database is open to users log mode is archive log mode and the destination for the archive log files database is being shut down dismounted instance shut down copying only one data file the users tbf in location okay so we apparently made a mistake system cannot find the path specified okay so we'll have to correct the path is a typo somewhere okay, so we'll go to host operating system and CLS I'll say notepad b.sql let's see C Oracle XE this should be an XE here backslash app backslash Oracle backslash or data backslash XE users should be right now so I'll say save exit once again I'll say exit and I'll run the script again value for date 02 01 2012 okay shutting down the database dismounted copying only one this is the message that I wanted to display one file has been copied and the message copying one data file will not be enough to recover your database in case of media failure and it is trying to restart the database so the script has uh, been a success now if I say dir and slash p there should be a file with current date press enter once again and this is the file the spool file and I'll say note pad once again here I'll edit mark and I'll copy this and I'll paste it here and I'll press enter and this is the record of whatever has happened so the system state was 2nd of January 2012 the name of the database is XC the database was in read and write mode first and this the database was in log archive mode this is the location of this is the destination for archive log files the database was then shut down and then it was restarted so this is how you create scripts and automate the uh, several processes thank you very much